Well, today is a really exciting day for me because we're here at Walter Ray's house, and that's his studio. And Walter's worked with people like Mariah Carey, Josh Groban, Pavarotti, Michael Bolton, Barbara Streisand, to name just a few. Uh, and he's written for those people as well. So I'm working with him today. So it's just uh, really exciting. Can't wait. So, Ridden is one of the, the finest singers that I have had the pleasure of working with. Currently, right now, he's one of the best. He's very, very, very um, well informed. He knows what he wants. He knows how to sing, definitely. He's been trained very well. And it's a matter of just coming up with the right songs. To dream the impossible dream To fight the unbeatable foe To bear with unbearable sorrow For me, you see, I don't like to put album fillers or tracks that just people skip over. Every track has to be a hit, if you like, or a track that people love to listen to. I think his, his singing and his, his diction and his, you know, sort of uh, approach, I, I'm sure it's pretty Welsh, you know? Some of it is pronunciation, some of it is just your approach to how to sing bits. And I think it just comes from being raised on, on certain types of music and certain types of singing, which I, I think is very much enhancing Ridian's, um, his road right now is very well paved by having been from Wales and singing certain types of music. It's definitely helping him. Good. Thank you. That was awesome. Dayan. Your Welsh is improving, Walter. Did you like the middle bit? Because I wasn't sure that that was. Um, well, exactly we have we have enough of a softer middle bit, and we have enough of a more stronger middle bit. So I think it's just a matter of us comping between the two. You want to take a listen? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's yeah. Try. Will be better for this. Is this too small, though, for the I world? We wanted this a little louder. I think it just comes down to that little whisper of a man saying, I, I, I like the, the way you did that. Gets stronger. Adds a courage. courage. More, I say more. Courage. The unreachable. The unreachable. I like star, and I like this one. Well, I like two words in the whole bloody song. No, the rest of it, needs, I don't want it's crap. Oh, you're just fooling, huh? Today is a momentous day, because I'm here to see Simon. Uh, it's the master deadline date, which means no more recording. I'm coming back out, I've got to meet Simon, and I'll come out later on. <laughs> Initially, it was a risk for me to go into a machine that was Cowell's empire because I didn't know what he would make of me. Thankfully, uh, he's really taken to me and uh, really believes in me, and that's half the battle, you know, to have somebody of that powerful and influential in the world of music behind you, you know, kind of... Uh, is a big help. It's fun, right? I always like meeting him because I feel comfortable with him. A lot of people feel a little bit in awe, and I can see why, but we've always got on well, and today was no exception. And had a cup of tea and spoke about the album. Barbara Streisand, Dolly Parton. Yeah. But she's extraordinary on stage. And where did you meet her? I met her at, I did a Lloyd Webber 60th gig at Hyde Park, and she was there, and I've been a fan for ages. 
went to a dressing room and said, how's it? And uh, really love to that. Yeah, I'd love to sing with you one day. I have to tell you, I have no idea who this girl was. No, no, you didn't. She is incredible. I'm glad. Incredible. And how did you know this would work as a duet? Because she was in a musical, I know you love musicals, called Wicked. And as a duet, we're trying, I sing. And I sing along a backing track with her. And I just thought, well, our voice would blend together. But, but why this song? Just, I just had an instinct that it would work. It's really good. Well, on the earlier version, she was already in at this point. But this is less of her. And I think this is better. Yeah, I agree, actually. I heard both versions. Yeah? You prefer this one? Yeah. But you've kept her vocal in from here. Because I, I like a little ad-lib and stuff. Is she cute? She fit. Yeah. She's married. Baggage. You like her? <laughs> I do like yeah, her. Well. It's fantastic. And the way at the end I was a little bit apprehensive, to be honest, because it's the deadline today. And you want him to be pleased, and he is. So, uh, and he was speaking about perhaps we might go on Oprah Winfrey and perform. I mean, that's just like that's a big deal for me. So, uh, I'm very, very happy and looking forward to performing on the X Factor next week. What's great about Riddy, and it's not only is he a good singer, he's smart, and he just doesn't accept everything he questions it and I said to him today I like the fact that you do question and you do get insecure because I'm like that you know I don't accept most things which are offered to me I'll question it and get upset and to me that's passion not being difficult and that's why we've had a good relationship you got to stay you got to stay true to yourself you know I'm I'm a classical singer I know where I want to get to in singing um, I'm still determined to get there. I've got a great opening now. I'm where I want to be. I've had my audition in front of the biggest producer in the world, in Simon, and I've got him on my side, which is part of the, the struggle. It's onward and upward, hopefully. I would say to anyone with his talent, keep the steel in your eyes. You know, always have that desire to get better. The thing about Rydian, he's very versatile. He, he could do like a Charlie Bassey song. He could do an opera song. He's very versatile, and he's a real performer, and he owns that stage when he walks on it, and he's not afraid of anybody. I think it's going to be very successful. I think, you know, the, the most important night is going to be when he comes back. A, because people will get a chance to hear this record, which I think is incredible. But secondly, he's got a point to prove. He knows that. And he's going to come back on this show, and he's going to prove a point. Next here on ITV1 Wales, we'll be going behind the scenes, meeting the cast and writers, and you'll be able to see for yourself why Duty Free is such a comedy classic. Following that will also be an episode of the show entitled 40 Love. Love.